Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Gigi and today we're going to be doing a watercolor trees project. Here's the materials that we're going to need for the project. Here's what you need. You need a cup of water and brushes, watercolor paint, canvas or paper, and a paper towel. For this project, we're just going to kind of take a step back, take a couple deep breaths, and just really relax and enjoy this process. So let's dive in. I'm going to make sure that my brush is very wet, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of white watercolor paint and start making that sky. I'm going to dip my brush into the water again and take the lightest green I can find and start making the backmost layer of trees. It's really important here to keep it as light as possible. We want it to look so far away. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and about the same level. Now if you dip into the green and it becomes too intense, remember that you can always put a layer of water on top of it as long as the paint is wet. That'll help kind of really desaturate the color. Now once that's done, we're gonna make sure that we take like a blue green or like a teal color and we're gonna do our mid layer. We're gonna make sure that it keeps light as well, but it's gonna be a little bit darker than our backmost layer. Then I'm going to make sure my brush is really wet and dip it to the tiniest bit of black watercolor paint and then just make a tree line that's going to be closest to us. This closest tree line should say relatively really small. If you feel the black is a little bit too intense, then you could always go in with a little bit of the blue-green that we did in the previous layer and just kind of lighten it up a little bit. Now once we're done with that black layer, we're just going to pause, let it dry, I would say for about like 5-10 minutes, and then come back. If it's still not dry by the time you come back, continue to give another 5-10 minutes. I lost a little bit of footage, but that's okay. You can kind of see how I'm doing the trees. I'm doing kind of like a zigzag Z motion, really making sure that only the tip of my brush is really touching the paper. You really want it kind of loose very free flowing your brush has a lot of water on it and very little pigment from the brush you really want to create the you know there's fog coming in between the layers of trees it's way back in the distance you can't really see the like definition in the trees and all the way in the back
to add a little bit of seamlessness between the layers, I'm going to take that same blue green and with a lot of water on my brush and really kind of fade that down. And then before you start on the next layer, you really want to make sure that the area is dry before you start putting in the tree line. As you'll see here, I'll put in a tree marking and you can barely see it. And then I'll flip over to the other side. With the same blue green that we just did for this layer, we're gonna go in and make some more, more defined trees. These traders should be a little bit darker than the green trees that you put in the back. And don't worry too much about making the trees super straight. Some trees have a natural curve or just, you know, kind of bendy in nature. So it doesn't have to be perfect. This is all about keeping it loose and just having fun with the process. And again, just like how we did on the top layer, we're going to take that blue-green and we're just going to kind of blend it down with a lot of water. Really make that seamlessness between the layers.
Also remember, when trees get farther and farther away from you, they're going to get smaller. So to create depth in your painting, make the trees vary in height. Not only will this look more natural, it will also be easier on the eyes. So now I'm going to go in with a dark teal color or dark blue green and start adding my third layer of trees. These trees are going to be a lot bigger than the middle row or even the back row. You're going to see a lot more like definition in the layers of the pine trees. Feel free to add some smaller trees, kind of like the tops poking out in between there. It'll look more natural. Also, it's okay to overlap some of the trees. Not, you're not going to be able to see every single tree on each layer in a regular forest. Now that we're done with this third layer, let it dry. Now for this layer, we're not going to use a whole lot of water. We're just going to use just enough to really make sure that black is very saturated. And then we're going to go in and really take our time focusing on the details of this exact pattern of the pine tree, because these are the ones that are going to be closest to us and have the most definition. It's really important that we have to let the other layer dry in the back. Otherwise, we're not going to get those crisp lines with the black paint.
Once you're done with your tree line, you can go in and take some white paint or a light blue paint and start doing the sky. Make sure that you use a lot of water, you should be very just loose and very free flowing. I added some white paint speckles on here to make it look like it's about to snow, but you don't have to. You can keep it just like that. And with that, you're done. Thank you so much for doing this project with me. If you like this video, leave a like down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. We'll see you next time.